True Gamer here, back with another unboxing video. So here is the collector's box. I don't think it's a sleeve. I think this is the actual collector's box. Just check this out. The artwork on each side of the box just screams manga in all directions, the front and also the back. The box itself is a collectible. So inside, you'll find a brand spanking new sealed copy of the game, which is freely upgradable to the PS5. Just like myself at a time, I only can get my hands on the PS4 collector's edition. So that upgradable feature came in handy. And for some reason I've noticed it doesn't have the free upgrade to PS5 printed on the front like they normally do, but I can guarantee if you get the collector's edition, you can upgrade to the PS5 when you are ready. And Bandai Namco knows what the collectors are like because we have a separate still book with some salivating images on the front and also on the back. And if we're lucky enough, we might have some prints inside, but not really. We got some very vague illustrations, which I can barely make out what it is. So overall though, I'm very pleased with this because it does look bright and tantalizing on the front. So for me, it's 10 out of 10 for this metal case. And then you will get some pencil drawn postcards crafted in anime style. Just take a look at that. And if you want, screenshot that boys and girls. Check that out. Very unique and I'm absolutely loving it. And on the back, it just has the game title printed, Sandland. And then last of the physical items, didn't really get much, but here is the star of the show, the speed demon himself, Beelzebub. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is 20 centimeters when you stand him up on the base, which will look like that. Now it does come sealed and yeah, I'm just keeping it sealed right now. That's why I didn't really do the assembly exercises. So this is Beelzebub. And you will know just by looking at this statue that this is a character straight out of a manga magazine or a TV series. It's a great representation of the game you are about to be immersed with. I'm definitely contemplating on where to stick this. I just haven't got a home for it right now. So that's why I'm not even going to bother open it. But here it is guys, the Beelzebub statue figurine. Now if you was lucky enough in some retail stores or if you went straight and got this from Bandai Namco website, you would get some extra art cards in a in a envelope, a light blue envelope. But unfortunately, I did pre-order it, but it was from a different company and they just wasn't doing that deal. But on top of that, you do obtain a bunch of DLC and I will put that up on the screen right now. So there was a catalog of extra things you can go and download. Now I wouldn't recommend going and paying 125 pounds for this because you know, it lacks that collector's edition credentials. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.